I'm glad that that's for me, boy. I'm going to say it. It's really annoying being asked for a fag every 15 minutes when you're walking down the street. That said, I think you're asked if I just say an easy bit by the <laughs> And that's enough about cancer and death. Does everyone want to see the next act? Oh, come on, you could do better than that. Does everybody want to see the next act? Okay, welcome to the stage, my friend, Sonny. So who thinks dating a comic is great fun? You assume that offstage it's going to be a riotous affair full of constant jokes and entertaining anecdotes that are poignant, yet funny. The truth of the matter is that we are a miserable bunch. I happen to be in that situation and it's beginning to become a little bit complicated. I mean, we never really switch off. No matter where we are, always testing material. Take, for example, sex. <laughs> In the middle of this entertaining event, which, let's be honest, is the highlight of my day, this is the moment my girlfriend thinks of something funny and wants to run it by me for her next set. As a man, all I'm thinking about is shooting my load and falling asleep. Simple. Bears do it during mating season. Now, I am hardly compelled to carry on, am I? One must stop and listen patiently, otherwise it would be too rude, right? Right? So in this rather compromising position, how the fuck am I going to be impartial? If I'm brutally honest about my girlfriend's material, then that's it. Game over. No sex for a week. I'm sorry, but I didn't sign up to get heckled in my own bed. My own bed! Now, I've been gigging for two years, working my material to crowds all over the place. Some of them laugh, some don't. Now, you seem like a sophisticated crowd. So you know the first rule of comedy, right? Be funny. Second rule of comedy? Don't be funnier than the headliner. And the third rule? Don't date other comics. Applies to male and female. All of these rules are bullshit, by the way, and we break them all the time like we break the speed limit. And to make the situation even more complicated, my so-called best friend fancies my girlfriend and is dying to get his hands on her. <laughs> Makes for an awkward moment when we go out together. Whenever we have friends over, they all just Laugh along at everything that we say, no matter how hurtful or biting it gets. And it does sometimes, because it's a competition, right? Well, this got me thinking. How do lawyers dating each other cope? Do they stop halfway through sex to give their final summation? And actors dating other actors, well, that never really works out. In fact, some actors date nobodies, and that still doesn't work out. The problem is that we never really switch off. And behind this vacuous comic veneer, we're all just a bunch of competitive wankers jostling for the best line. Now, that's what I call a complicated relationship. And to make things even more awkward, 
That female comic I'm dating, she's the next act, along with my best friend. Thank you, and good night. <laughs>